Ladies, gentlemen, and those outside and in between, may I introduce my SCOBY! A SCOBY is a symbiotic colony of bacteria and yeast, and it's used in making kombucha. Now, I've never done that before, and this was sort of a whim, so that's all the information you're going to get today. But as I embark on this maiden voyage of kombucha making, I'm sure you can look forward to me keeping you posted. Family photo. Oh, she has my mother's eyes. And my father's yeast tendrils. Well, I'm pretty hungover, so today I'm gonna take the next step in my kombucha journey. I have in here some green tea that I keep cold brewed in my fridge. I have green tea in my fridge generally. And I heated it up a little bit so I could dissolve a cup of turbinado sugar in it. It's also a good idea to bring the temperature of the tea up because cold temperatures inhibit this particular bacteria growth. The kind that we want to make the bucha. Here is my beautiful yeasty princess. You can see that there's the original scoby that I added and the new baby one that's forming on top. Himezama jumbi ga dekita motto o kina o furu o I think I should have said Moto oki na furu na furu ni irimas. I put you into a bigger bath, not o irimas. You guys got that right. And now that she's graduating into her more adult container, she has a new cloth, a new wimple, a new crown. Um, I found out that I shouldn't have used cheesecloth as I did with the smaller container. Uh, because it can still let fruit flies in as well as other stuff over time. But it's important to have a breathable container because this is an aerobic fermentation process, which means it requires oxygen. So we have... Look at her. Oh, she's such a pretty princess! Now all we do is... Put it in a warm, it doesn't have to be dark, but it should be out of direct sunlight, but I'm going to put her up in this cabinet. And the SCOBY will consume the sugar in the tea and turn it in the concoction into kombucha in seven to ten days. 